<laughs> Hello guys. Where am I looking? Okay, here. Hey guys. Hi. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Old Darlin, also known as Planty Plants on Instagram. So today is a very, very exciting day. Just because I'm transferred, <laughs> I'm transferring this wrap of the Fora high. I think I said it right. Hopefully I've been practicing. But she's gonna be transferred to this piece of wood that I got at Lowe's and I found her at um, Lowe's for $20 so if you guys are wondering where I got her 20 bucks at Lowe's and it's both sides so it's she's trailing on this side and she's also trailing on this side so today I'm gonna clean her up she's been quarantined in a corner of my house for about two and a half weeks now and it's time like she outgrew this completely since I got her. But this is the first time that I'm doing this. I'm no expert. I'm just going based off what I've searched and what my friends have done. And um, yeah, we're gonna put a big moss, a big thing of sphagnum moss right here that I've been soaking in filtered water with some liquid dirt just to add in some nutrients because it's not going to have any soil, so I will be watering them with um, liquid dirt. If you guys want to learn more about liquid dirt, liquid dirt, liquid dirt, I will link that down below. And you can get a 25% off using my code. And I do recommend it if you guys want to give your plants like more nutrients, another boost, especially for hydro plants. And like uh, the plants in Leka, they need, they need love, man. They need some nutrients. Anyway. I don't even know where to start because I know the soil has some um, some little crawlers in there so I have my bag ready to go and I do know that I do know that there's a mesh oh my god this is filled with webbing this also has spider mites so after I take her out, I'm gonna give her like a whole bath and I'm gonna wipe her down and hopefully we get rid of all those mites and stuff. Alright, so the first thing is we're gonna do is take her out of the soil pot, which I'm gonna reuse the nursery pot for one of my other plants. So let's see what we get. Let's see. Oh my god. This is smoldy. Holy cow. There's so much mold in here. Ugh. Ugh, this is why it stresses me out. This stresses me out. Ugh. And any tools that you guys see me using here, they will be linked in my Amazon products um, storefront. I'm gonna link it down below. She's not with him tonight. RIP that. Hey, I'm going in tonight. Woo, you're free, baby girl. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I'm so sorry you went through all this. All right, that's one. And this is... Okay, this is trash. I'm not gonna reuse this. It's like moldy at the bottom. I was showing you guys before. This is the mesh that is around the roots, the root system. Now, I, the reason why nurseries do this is, I guess, is to have a better system of repotting plants to send them out to like the big box stores. But at the end of the day, this is not ideal. Like the roots, you can see the roots trying to come out and some of the roots get choked up through that and it's just a mess. And if you notice this on your plants, the safest way is to just take it off. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that in a bit, but yes. So this is what I'm gonna do. So you see like some roots here. I'm gonna try to save them. Okay, this one's out. So it's just... Holy crap. So it's coming out. I'm gonna repeat this on both and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I managed to take as much as I could from here. I only damaged maybe one root, but that's okay. There's a lot of healthy roots here. And now I'm gonna soak 
this one in water filtered water while I try to take out the other one so I have some filtered water here and I'm just gonna soak it off just so that so I could clean the roots better later on and while she's soaking it up I am gonna continue doing the second one. Oh my gosh second one is definitely definitely taller than the other one by a lot They have been soaking for a while now. So I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna place them on the paper towels. And um, I'm actually gonna clean them off with a mixture of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, water, and some dish soap. That's what I, that's the mix that I use. There you go. That's the mix that I use to clean all my leaves that I have noticed that have like little spider mites or little pests and any roots that I see that are mushy and just rotten I will cut it off just because we don't need mushiness in our lives now I'm gonna spray them this is my microfiber gloves like I said before anything you see me use here will be linked down below on my Amazon storefront so you guys could check it out if you're interested and let's spray them up Try not to get the roots, just the leaves, just a little bit. I usually let it sit, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna wipe them down. And if I do see more crawlers in there, I will definitely repeat the process and let it soak in more. I do love these gloves because it feels like you have more support of the leaf for front and back, and it's just easier overall. I use, I think 50% water and 50% alcohol and dish soap. I know everybody's mixes is different and if you are using neem oil which I also use make sure that you don't do it while the leaves have direct sunlight in it because that could burn the leaf what I will do now is I'm gonna take the sphagnumons that I have soaking in filter water and some liquid dirt for nutrients and I'm gonna try to squeeze it all out you want it moist but you don't want it really really damped and I'm just gonna make a little bird's nest for the roots. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But this seems about right. Mm. Put them in together like this. Put the roots together so they could like say hi to each other or something if they need to. I'm just wrapping. <laughs> the roots in sphagnumos. Now for the fun part. I have the wood that I'm gonna be using and I have some twine. Okay. Now, oh my gosh, I love this. They definitely have room to grow. Just whip it around. I found the missing end and this is the, the end that I started with so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie them both together like this so it could be extra secure and I'm just gonna tuck this I know it's hard to see but I'm gonna tuck it behind the other strings all right guys so I put in a one of the twines holding the leaves at the bottom I'm gonna put another one right here, going across. Okay guys, this is what we have. This is my breakfast dish for high. <laughs> I can't even say it. But this is how it turned out, I love it. I'm gonna mount it, I'm gonna like put a hole here when I have a chance and have a rope and mount it on the wall. But right now, she's just gonna be against something. And um, let, me know, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. This is the first time that I'm doing this, so um, hopefully I did it right. And let me show you how I'm gonna water this because that's like one of the questions that I also had and like I searched and everything and the best way that I found I have this bottle right here it's like it's a little spout and then you just squeeze it and I got this on Amazon it's also linked in my Amazon products and what I'm gonna be doing to water this girl so I'm gonna take her to the sink or whatever and I'm just gonna you know that's my water sounds like that. 
and is filled with liquid dirt. Again, if you guys want to know what liquid dirt is, I put a link down below. Still gotta fix the twine that is holding her up. I gotta make it tighter or use something else. But so far, this is this is her, and I'm really happy about it. Now she has space to grow, and I am gonna mount it like I said before, but not right now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY video and I hope I did a good job because I honestly don't know if I did a good job or not. So don't roast me in the comments. Just give me advice if I did anything wrong. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to follow my Instagram, uh, Plants to Plants, if you want to keep in touch with my Raphotrophoria. Raphotrophoria, <laughs> hi. Uh, follow my Instagram to keep up with her growth and all my other plants. Uh, See you guys next time. Let me know what videos you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you in my next video. It's super hot in here.